Are you tired of seeing high lot rents? Are you giving some thought to a resident-owned community? Would you like to see an assortment of co-ops and what they offer? Stay tuned. In this video, we will present three resident-owned co-op communities. Following the community tours, we'll discuss the cost to live in these communities as both a renter and a shareholder. We'll also cover how to get a list of co-ops in any particular area of Florida you care to live. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I developed Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and to educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. Most manufactured home co-ops started out as mobile home parks. At some point in time, a group of residents got together and bought the park. A corporation was formed with each participating buyer owning a share. The corporation itself purchased and owns the park. Some residents choose not to participate in the purchase and they remain renters of their lots. In most parks, when you buy a home from a shareholder, the price includes the share. When you buy a home from a renter, you may have a chance to purchase a share and become an owner. As a shareholder, you receive a long-term lease on your lot, typically 99 years. You also have an equal vote with other shareholders on matters related to the operation of the park. Here's the general location of the three co-ops we will look at today. Hammock Estates is located in the center of the state in Highlands County. Tropical Isles is near the coast in St. Lucie County. Indian Wood Golf and Country Club is located in Martin County. Hammock Estates is a relatively small park with 117 lots and six RV spaces. It is a 55 plus community and they do not allow pets. The park is located just southwest of Sebring. Shopping at Publix and Winn-Dixie is nearby, as is the Highlands Regional Medical Center. The city of Sebring is around the corner on Lake Jackson. The Sebring Municipal Golf Course is right next door. If you're an auto enthusiast, Sebring Raceway is nearby. The park has a community clubhouse with shuffleboard courts behind it. There is a small community pool nearby. Let's take a drive around and look at some houses. Here's one for sale by owner. One thing that catches your eye is these TV towers. That would be a real plus for a ham radio operator. Here's the pool area coming up. Trees, landscaping, everything is really quite well maintained. There seems to be quite a mix of sizes available, although so far they all appear double wide. There are a few with the awnings down, indicating snowbirds away for the season. Here we are coming up on the clubhouse. Okay, let's move on to Tropical Isles. Tropical Isles is located in the southern part of Fort Pierce. Shopping and medical facilities are nearby. The area has numerous golf courses, dining choices, and venues for entertainment. Beaches are roughly nine miles away over the Seaway Drive Bridge. It's about 65 miles to the Palm Beach Airport. Tropical Isles is a mid-sized community with a little over 330 home sites. Small pets are allowed. The 8,500 square foot clubhouse is spacious with room for cards, social activities, a full kitchen, and a large auditorium. The pool deck has room for everyone and the lakes provide excellent catch and release fishing. Let's look at some homes. Lots of palm trees and beautiful landscaping are found in this community. We see homes here too with shutters down indicating snowbirds. This is one of the beautiful lakes available for fishing with many homes fronting on the lake. 
Homes in this community sell quickly, and only a few were listed at the time of this video. It was described to me as a quiet community, but a look at the calendar on their website leads me to think otherwise. It looks to me like you can keep as busy as you want to be. I really like the look of the homes in here. Landscaping's impeccable, everything's well kept. These look like folks you'd just love to be neighbors with. Here's the clubhouse. It's absolutely gorgeous. The fountain really adds a nice touch. As we come around the other side, we see the flags flying proudly. There are a lot of nice homes in here, small and large. If you are interested in a mid-size ROC co-op, close to the shore, with access to almost everything, I suggest you give this one a look. Now, we'll take a look at Indian Wood. Indian Wood Golf and Country Club is a manufactured home community with its own golf course and restaurant. There are 596 home sites in the park. The community is located east of Lake Okeechobee in the middle of farm country. There is some shopping in Indian Town nearby. The nearest Walmart is some 20 miles northeast in Port Salerno. You're about 25 miles from open beaches, which isn't bad for a day trip. Jupiter to the southeast, about 22 miles, also has shopping, restaurants, and medical facilities. There are major highways in all directions, making travel relatively easy. Palm Beach International Airport is about 36 miles away. In the heart of the community is a 6,000 square foot clubhouse, tennis courts, two swimming pools, and many other amenities. Of course, the chief attraction is golf. The club features a par 70, 18-hole championship golf course, putting areas, a driving range, and a pro shop with professional staff. It also has a 5,000 square foot clubhouse featuring the Outpost Bar and Grill, a restaurant and full service liquor bar. I've actually eaten there and the food was quite good. Let's take a ride around the community. The homes are beautifully landscaped and the lawns immaculate. I love the large number of mature trees. There are palm trees everywhere creating a tropical look. Homes are two and three bedroom with quite an assortment of porches. A few homes still have the shutters down indicating some snowbirds are not yet back for the season. The curving roadways are in great shape and give a nice appearance to the park. Note also the bike path along one side. The clubhouse is kind of tucked in the middle of the park. Beautiful trees grace this nice sized clubhouse. Now let's look at HOA fees and lot rents. Different parks use different terms, but for the purpose of this video, we will say that shareholders pay HOA fees while those renting pay lot rent. This is a comparison of HOA fees and lot rent for each park. These are 2021 numbers and may vary upon the location of the lot. To obtain an accurate number for any given home, you must contact the park or real estate agent. Links to the co-op websites for each park are posted in the description below. It is here you can find more info on rates, rules, and home availability. What if I like a house that's on a rental lot? Can I buy a share? The answer is yes, in all three of these parks. Whether that makes sense for you depends greatly upon your financial goals and personal preferences. These are the 2021 share prices for each park. They will vary depending upon the location of the lot. There are other costs to be considered which may or may not be included in the share price or lot rent. In fact, there's a lot more to comparing parks than just rental or share prices. For a complete guide to park comparisons, I recommend my book. While written for land lease communities, all of the info it contains on park comparisons is applicable to resident-owned communities as well. 
If you are interested in co-ops for a particular county in Florida, request them here through the website. This completes our tour of these three beautiful resident-owned communities. They each present unique opportunities both for renting or for shareholders. The numbers we provided are accurate to the best of our knowledge, but for a specific quote, you must contact a real estate agent or the park. If you have any questions or ideas for additional videos on resident-owned communities, please leave them in the comments below. Resident-owned communities are a great option. If you would like more information on the types of resident-owned communities in Florida, just click on my video on this topic. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.